एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी सो इन पार्ट वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन what is definite integrals what are improper integrals types of improper integrals there can convergence and divergence now in this part 2 we will be learning uh, how to calculate if the limit is infinite and uh, even the uh, function is also infinite then if in that case there is a possibility to calculate that integral then such problems will be discussing in this part 2 of this lecture Hello everyone I am Dr Seema Thakran if you want to know the concept in detail please refer to the book by Ashan Publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below now continuing the same we are taking uh, uh, more problems on improper integrals and we'll see whether they are converging diverging or what exactly the uh, limit is for improper integral sometimes it might be that they don't exist so my very first question is if you see in the part 1 i took dx by x the same limit the imp, it is improper that was also improper but this time you just see the difference for only because of the power so as i told you whenever the limit is infinite i'll introduce a variable t 1 to t dx by x square uh, instead of infinity i am writing t and t obviously will tend to infinity and now 1 by x square i can write as x to the power minus 2 what exactly the rule for integration is you add on 1 plus 1 in the power of x and the same thing the power expression you write in the denominator and limits are from 1 to t so we are getting x to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 so it is 1 to t finally my expression is integrate uh, integral value is so 1 by x put the limits uh, for the upper and lower case so t 1 by t minus when you are substituting 1 so uh, the integration is minus 1 by x limits from 1 to t and now i am substituting the upper limit and for when we when we substitute the lower limit what we do negative sign of lower limit and already negative sign it will become plus and 1 now you see when you are substituting the limit infinity so minus 1 by infinity plus 1 and finally 1 by infinity is 0 0 plus 1 it seems to be improper it is improper but you can see this time the area is finite because it gives you area improper integral and if it is 1 it is convergent case and 1 to infinity dx by x it was infinite it was improper it was divergent case but 1 to infinity dx upon x square you can see the answer is finally 1 it is improper and uh, the like but the area is finite the same way you can calculate on the parallel lines dx by x cube or it just goes on four and so on all will be convergent and the answer will come out to be one for all the uh, improper integrals now the question is this minus 1 to 1 the this time my limits are finite this time my limits are finite but what why this is improper integral when you are substituting x 1 the value of 1 minus 1 by x square is infinite when i am substituting x minus 1 again my function is 
infinite it means infinite means unbounded we call it unbounded situation so it means this time limit is finite but the function is unbounded so this is improper improper integral so uh, because the integration you are doing you should be good with the uh, formulas you should know how what exactly the integral answer is so the formula for dx upon it is 1 by a sin inverse x by a and this time our a is 1 so finally the integral value of this is sin inverse x by 1 minus 1 to 1 so upper limit i am substituting minus lower limit i am substituting sin inverse one value is just the reverse it is pi by 2 we know that sin of minus theta is minus sin theta it means then a uh, negative angle uh, negative comes uh, comes in the uh, beginning so this becomes plus sin inverse 1 and for cos theta it's not just the same it is positive angle only so cos of minus theta value and cos theta both are same for tan theta again the same rule as sin is follow uh, sin has sin function so pi by 2 plus pi by 2 it is pi so you can see it is again a uh, convergent case and uh, the uh, integral was improper now 1 to infinity infinity it is so obviously it is improper so limit t tending to infinity 1 to t dx upon 1 plus x square as i told you you should be good with the formulas otherwise you cannot calculate you know it is it is improper but if you don't know the formula how you will calculate so that you do in your 12th class so dx 1 upon 1 plus x square integration is tan inverse 1 by 8 and inverse x a is 1 in the limit 1 to t So limit t tending to infinity, tan inverse t minus tan inverse one. One uh, when you substitute the lower limit, you put a minus. Now or uh, uh, take this limit, so it will become tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse one. So. Tan inverse infinity is pi by two, and tan inverse one is pi by four. So ultimately, this value is two pi minus pi. So this is also convergent case. So uh, these are the convergent cases. But if I just change it to x dx, and I see this limit. what what exactly uh, the integration limit t tending to infinity and uh, change it to 1 to t x dx so it is x square by 2 from 1 to t limit t tending to infinity t square by 2 minus half and you see that t is in the numerator and if t is tending to infinity this is obviously approaching to infinity so improper integrals different improper integrals different situations and we see that some are convergent some are divergent and if uh, they have some value it means area is finite area is well defined if they are infinite it means area is not defined and we have seen uh, different different problems uh, for improper integrals 
so this is the end of this lecture and uh, in this lecture part 2 end we uh, we did uh, how to calculate improper integrals where the limit is infinite function is also infinite when we are substituting choosing the limit but there is a possibility to get the value of that integral improper integral we'll say and we have done such problems in this lecture if you want to know the concept in detail please refer to the book by Eschan Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. Please like, share and subscribe Eschan Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected, stay tuned, keep watching upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.